What Irish players should you be watching closely this evening and for that matter all season long? Brian Kelly gives us some insight as I continue my one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. But we begin with how his team is handling the loss of two superstars to the NFL. On the offensive line, lost Mike McGlinchey, lost Quentin Nelson, two top ten drafts. They're gone? Picks. I didn't they know are. that. Yeah, yeah, they are. Dang it. Hate to break that to you. Now maybe I'll be a little bit more nervous. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Harry Heastan as well uh, with the Bears now. Will there be a drop-off there along the offensive line? They were the best in the country last year. You have the giant Joe Moore Award to prove it. How do you avoid that drop-off? Well, I, you know, I think every year you come into the season expecting to be successful in running the football. Uh, the measure of that will be over 12 games. Um, we're playing a really good defense in the first week. Uh, if we rush for 350 yards, I'll tell you we're going to be better. I know our guys aren't, aren't um, giving up that award. Uh, they want to win it uh, again to, to be the most outstanding offensive line. So we are capable of doing that. Um, you're losing two very good players, outstanding players, but um, our guys are up for the challenge. All right, want to do a little rapid fire segment, just a couple thoughts about some of these players. We'll start along the offensive line with the guy replacing Mike McGlinchey, Liam Eichenberg. Physical, um, you know, anxious about his first opportunity. Jafar Armstrong. Um, athletically gives us um, a multi-dimensional uh, threat um, in our offense. Avery Davis. Um, uh, I call him a bright lights player. When the, when the lights turn on, uh, he's, he's a guy that really turns up his play. Dexter Williams. Um, he is uh, a big play um, player for us that uh, will get an opportunity this year to show himself. Alizé Mack. Uh, emerging. Um, I, I think uh, he has, uh, he's really taken hold of uh, the things off the field that will make him a great player on the field. Chase Claypool. Uh, maturing uh, to, to the point where he can be an impact player. We'll go to the defensive side of the ball. Dalen Hayes. Um, I think he is another ascending defensive player that will make an impact this year. Tavon Coney. Uh, probably the most improved in, in a leadership fashion, um, which is needed at that middle linebacker position. Drew Tranquil. Um, Mr. Do Everything. Is there... Is there someone on your roster that we, the media, aren't talking about right now that by the end of the season we won't be able to stop talking about? Mm. Um, you know, I think, I think you're probably going to talk a little bit more about, uh, as a player, uh, Alohi Gilman. Uh, and I think you're going to probably talk a little bit more about Jeff Quinn as the offensive line coach. So Pritchett says uh, Jafar Armstrong. Coach Kelly's thinking it's going to be uh, Alohi Gilman as the guy to watch. I'll take either one. I hope we don't talk much about the coaches because usually when we do, it's not good. Right. 